Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mooney and thank you for joining me today. So today we're going to do another recipe. This recipe is um, blueberry pomegranate sour. Um, it's now end of August, 1st of September. Um, I wanted to do kind of a fall centric recipe. Um, so I wanted to go something really dark. Um, but I wanted to stay with the fruits as well. So it's very much autumn, fall dark fruits and then I like sour so I thought I've used it in small doses let's see what happens if I amp it up a little bit and let's see how that turns out um, so this is what I did um, this is one of mine um, it uses um, blueberry layers and it uses pomegranate layers and it also uses other things to kind of balance it out a little bit um, But as usual, we'll talk about the flavors that I picked and why I picked them and all of that as I make it and afterwards. Um, I will go ahead and say that I was doing some mixing at the same... Um, I, 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 I did this recipe a few days ago. I had everything laid out. I thought I was ready to do the video. And I made some different juices in between then and when I recorded this. Um, so my organization skills kind of let me down a little bit in the mixing video. You'll see what I'm talking about. I had to pause it a couple of times. So there's a couple of jump cuts. I had the wrong flavors laid out. I got them right. They're mixed right. Um, and as always, I'll put the image of the recipe up once I put it on ELR um, right after the end of the mixing segment. And then we'll come back and talk about it. So this turned out to be kind of an amateurish effort compared to what I've been doing. Um, not that I'm a professional, but it is what it is, right? So, yeah, let's go ahead and go down to this um, mixing camera and video. Mixing video. Yeah, okay. This is the blueberry pomegranate sour. Uh, we're going to start this off with jungle flavors blueberry. We're going to do 2% of that which is 1.25 grams. And that's a nice dark rich blueberry so now we're going to add our second layer which is a lighter um, candied blueberry like it says blueberry candy by TFA um, you can use blueberry extra at the same percentage on this if you want to um, if this is kind of a coil killer it's got uh, ethyl maltol in it so we're going to do 1% of this, which is 0.62. Uh, overshot it just a hair, but that's not bad. Alright, so that was blueberry candy. And now we're going to use just a little bit of Flavor Arts Lemon Sicily, which we're going to use a quarter of a percent of that one, which is point zero, or which is zero point one six. Alright, and the lemon is in it to brighten it up um, and to help enhance and help your mind find the sour. So now we're going to do our first pomegranate. Yeah. 
Except to add them backwards on the table. Sorry about that. Uh, we're going to start with uh, TFA's Pomegranate Deluxe. And Pomegranate Deluxe is going to go in at 3%, which is 1.85. This is pretty much your main flavor. It's going to be the two pomegranates. They're very dark um, and very sweet berries. Alright, now we're going to do the regular pomegranate. But again by TFA and we're going to do this one at 2%. 2% 2 of a 60 milliliter is 1.24 grams. Alright, so I had to jump cut there. I actually missed a flavor on the list, um, and that's passion fruit. Um, by uh, Passion fruit is by Flavor Art, and we are doing 1.5% of this one, which is 0.94. And that is just to keep it from being so super dark. Um, make it a little bit lighter in, in tone. Bring the flavors up. So our next one is going to be Capella's Sweet Strawberry. Oh, it's not. Hold on. I grabbed the wrong bottle. Oh, this is going to be a crap video. Uh, it's supposed to be Capella's Ripe Strawberries. Sorry. And we are doing 2% of that, which is 1.25 grams. Alright, so that's all for your main flavors. Um, so we're going to come in with our additives now. We're going to start with the Sour Wizard by Flavor Art. Um, and because I want this to be pretty sour on it, I'm actually going to do a full 3% of this one. 3% um, of this flavor in a 60 ml is 1.93. And now we're going to come in on the back of that with just a little bit of sweetener, which is the sweetened tart. I want just a little bit of sweetener in it. It doesn't need a lot. Um, the Sugar Daddy has EM in the blend on it, and ethyl maltol tends to mute, especially in high, um, in, in high quantities. And there's already EM in the uh, blueberry candy, so I didn't want to go that route. 
but I have to be very careful with what I do and don't use on this as I've said before I can taste the sucralose so we're actually only going to do a quarter of a percent and that is 0 0.16 So you just want to add just a little bit of sweetener to it and um, boost up that sour just a little bit. You don't want to mute that out. So um, that's going to be all for this recipe. We're going to head back up top and uh, we'll go ahead and talk about it then. Alright, so that was my mix on this. Uh, let's go over the flavors real quick and then we will talk about a few more things. Um, so our two blueberries. Our uh, jungle flavors blueberry, which is a pretty natural blueberry, but has a lot of the skin. It has a lot of dark um, slightly bitter element to it versus the blueberry candy which is kind of it's, it's a blueberry candy it, it's definitely a candy there's a lot of um, a lot of ethyl maltol in that um, so then we have our two pomegranates well the pomegranate deluxe is a rich deep dark pomegranate seed and then the regular pomegranate is a much lighter much more of a candy again um the deluxe is much more like the juice that you buy the regular pomegranate is more like eating the seeds um these four flavors combining together um is very dark um and very 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 much has tannins to the flavor like a red wine would have um, so if you took those two those four flavors the, the, the two blueberries the two pomegranates and you threw in some um, a little bit of orange maybe some cinnamon uh, you'd have a nice makings of a beginning of a mold wine um, so those two lay together but they have, like I said they have the very dark tannins to them very sharp edges to them um, even with as much ethyl maltol as in the uh, pomegranate deluxe and the blueberry candy. So in order to kind of take that down just a little bit um, and balance that out, take the bitter edge off of it, um, that's why we use the passion fruit and the strawberry in it. Um, the lemon just brightens up the blueberry and accentuates the sour. Most of, mostly it's just kind of there as a subliminal note. But the strawberry and the passion fruit are what gives it a nice fluidity, a uh, nice moisture to it. Um, keeps it from going to that candy side, keeps it more towards the drink side. Um, and that sort of thing. So, um, and then Sour Wizard is literally just adding... Um, it's it's an acid flavor it's like what you use to make things sour um you uh, you could probably dump the whole bottle in it and as far as vaping it you're not going to get like a sour patch kid taste off of it or a sour straw or something like that this just adds that nice this is like you took the sour patch kid and scraped all that off and had just a little bit of it so there's just that that sourness that you would get from it um from the outside but not a lot of it it's not like really eating it um, and the sour plays really nice with the passion fruit originally when I made this recipe it had dragon fruit in it instead of the passion fruit um, and that kind of gave it a creaminess to it not really but kind of creamy um, so that, that's not a bad combination either you can go that route you can go the cactus if you want to um, the cactus plays really nice in low levels with the sour. I'm, I haven't used it in the higher levels. Um, the sweet tart, well, that adds a little bit of sweetness to it, and it also boosts the sour up. Um, I didn't want to go with anything with EM in it, like I said, which is why I didn't go with my usual sweetener, the Sugar Daddy, um, because it's a blend of sweeteners. Um, so there is ethyl maltol in it. And once you start adding that to flavors that already have EM in it, then it starts to mute. And I'm already somewhat strawberry blind, um, just a little bit. Um, so that's that's also the reason why the strawberry is so hot. If you're not, um, you can turn that strawberry down. 
uh, somewhat if you don't want the strawberry flavor in with it as well but I like it this is a way that that it works for me I can I get just a little bit of strawberry in with it just just the slightest hint of it especially on the exhale especially on the end of the exhale um, and it keeps it from leaving that that aftertaste in your mouth like you get from a really dark red wine like a Merlot or something like that um, so that's kind of my wrap up on this one um, I hope you enjoy it I hope you mix it up if you do let me know uh, the link to it will of course be down in the description like I always do for the ELR recipe um, all the usual rest all the recipe all the usual links are also down in the description the um, Kasa and then my personal links to all of my social media stuff don't forget Alabama hash hashtag Alabama vape mob well it's been a talking not not really talky kind of day today so yeah Al hashtag Alabama vape mob uh, you can find me on all my social media that way I have a Twitter Facebook page Instagram all of that stuff um, and of course the ELR um, all that stuff and yeah don't forget uh, pick up some merch if you're interested in it I've got some uh, nice designs there on Teespring the link to that's also down in the description and as always you know be safe and y'all have a good one